Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. Our college football previews continue today, and our stop is in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. We get to visit with the longtime head coach of the Washita Tigers, Coach Todd Knight, in his 23rd season with the program. Coach, last year, 9-2, and two, and just, just, and I mean just, on the outside of the playoffs looking in. Uh, a very good season overall, and you do get a win over the arch rival in Henderson State as well. So uh, from last season, how does everything look, and do you take anything into this year? Well, we learned a lot last season. You know, we lose our starting quarterback the 1st of August, and uh, we go in with with a freshman and a, and, a, and a backup. And I tell you what, Grant did a good job in his backup role got us to nine wins and and it was it really was a great year looking back and looking at the injury situation seeing what happened but naturally you know we've been in the playoffs three out of the last four years and that's always a goal and a goal to to make a run and win the championship the uh, great american as well so you know there were some things there were some unaccomplished goals there but uh, we really like our team we like the guys that we're coaching right now we're excited about uh we're excited about this season. We know we got to stay healthy. We know how good the league is, so it's going to be a tough run, but excited about where we are. Well, you've established the benchmark as the, as the league pretty much has to go through you with the championships that you've won of late and and, and how good a team that, that you regularly field. And, of course, uh, even even with all of that, uh, you, you know, you have a, a player coming back in T.J. Cole, set the Great American Conference single-season rushing record, 1,530 yards last year, 18 touchdowns, nine 100-yard games. So uh, that's that's a good place to start. Well, we put a lot of pressure on TJ last year when we we lost our cue early, so we knew we we were going to have to really focus on the run and take pressure off our quarterback. And again, Grant did a good job, but it was his first year to to get a start. So we 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 put it on the backs of our offensive line, put it on the backs of our running backs, and those guys responded. And of course, TJ, you know, in his junior year, ended up All American, as you said, leading the league in rushing. Just had a phenomenal year, but again. You know, an honor like that is really a team honor, and it starts with the offensive line, and TJ would be the first to tell you that. But a powerful back, a smart back, and a really good football player for us. TJ was an All-American. He wasn't the only All-American, though, on the offensive side of the ball, and you talked about the offensive line. Another All-American in Peyton Stafford, and he'll be back for you to help lead the way there as well. You bet. Offensive line, I can't say enough. We've got five starters back. Uh, all, got, all five of those guys started, and we've got two guys – Really, they're, they're transfers, but they were with us last year. Jax Gassaway will play a whole lot of football, and so will Clayton Nelson from Navy and Arkansas State. But those those five starters, I mean, two basically two All-Americans with Anthony Cherez and then also Peyton Stafford. He's the leader of that offensive line. You know, our center's back with uh, Nate Turner, uh, Hunter Jackson, the other guard, Zach Henson, the other tackle. I mean, it's just a, a solid group. And then you jump out there to tight end, you know, with Hunter Swoboda, all those guys are back. So it's pretty exciting to have a group like that that leads your team, leads your offense. I'll bet Cole's pretty excited about that as well. Yeah, I'd, I'd say he is with that group for sure. We're speaking now with Todd Knight, who is the head football coach at Washita, and we're here on Midwest Sportsnet, c counting down and getting ready for the college football season. Please like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. Coach, uh, you knew that last year – that by the end of the season, you were going to have some big shoes to fill on the defensive side of the ball because you were going to have to replace Gregory Jr. And in light of that, uh, he's moved on in a big way because he was taken in the sixth round of the NFL draft. The first Washita Tiger to have his name called, by the way, in the NFL draft. And he's uh, going to, from being a Tiger then, taken by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Man, it's been exciting. It's been fun for, for Greg. In fact, right before this interview, I was on the phone with Greg He's back in CrossFit here for for uh, a few weeks. He returns, you know, for his his camp here in a, a week or so. But everything's going good for him. He's he's got a chance to start on some special teams, doing a great job over there for Jacksonville. And you know, we're so happy for him, excited for him. And you know, you you alluded to it before the interview. We we've, we've had some other guys. I mean, uh, Philip Supernall, Julio Pruitt. I mean, other guys that have made it in the NFL. But all these guys were free agents. Jake Ford last year with the CFL as a punter. So we've had several guys, but Greg Jr. being drafted and, and having a chance to go through that process has been good, hopefully good for our conference, but especially good for our school as well. 
I think that uh, the effects there are just uh, long lasting all the way around uh, from school to conference and more. And coach, I, you know, I would be um, probably remiss to, to neglect some of the, the bigger names too, that the, the stadium itself in which you all play <laughs> for, uh, for the great Dallas Cowboy legend, Cliff Harris. I mean, you know, and also in the NFL too. So that's also a, a great name to talk about coach. Well, with that in mind, uh, junior's gone. Anthony Freeman is among those who return for you coming back from last season. A pretty good season last year he had as well. 14 tackles for loss, seven and a half sacks, and really made things difficult for opposing quarterbacks. Anthony Freeman, he's he's a great football player. And I tell you what, he's even a better person. He's a great leader. He just he's just the guy that you you want to represent your program on and off the field. He's, he's an awesome kid, does a great job. And we've got some other defensive linemen. We've got a couple of young defensive ends that played a lot last year that will play a ton of football. We've got guys like uh, Clark Yarborough inside, uh, Melvin Kumwinda, you know, uh, uh, Chop, Burks. I mean, we, we've got some really, really talented uh, guys in there that will do a good job. So excited about that front. And then uh, Terrell Gibson leads at linebacker. And then Andrew Hayes. He's as good a corner as we've got. He's he's really a good player, as good as anybody in the league. You know, we lost those two really great players last year with Hayden Laster at safety and then Greg Jr. at corner. We've got some young guys that will fill those spots that really had good springs. We're excited about those guys. If you look at us defensively, where we've got probably the two biggest holes would be in the secondary with Greg Jr. and Laster departing. But, you know, spring was good for us. We had a chance. We really had a chance to throw the ball a lot this spring. That was good for our, our secondary as well, good for our offense. So excited about the guys that step in and, and step up at those positions. It'll be it'll be a good, good, good fall for us, a good camp, get those guys rolling early. Well, Coach, what a luxury to be able to reload like that. And, and you know, it seems like it's something that you've done year after year. 13 consecutive winning seasons heading in to the 2022 campaign. What a, a fantastic uh, record to be able to build upon, and I'm sure it's great for recruiting as well. But you look toward 2022, and let's talk about that. The season opens on a Thursday night at Oklahoma Baptist, and then you're playing a, a home opener the very next Saturday on September 10th. That's against Southern Nazarene. Two Thursday night games this year. Oh, and you get to go back to the Murphy USA Classic where you face off against Southern Arkansas. And then the, the final week of the season, we can't uh, – can't neglect to talk about the Battle of the Ravine. Did I say too much in, in one time, all that schedule all at once? <laughs> oh, man, when you start talking about schedule, it, it makes it hard to sleep. I mean, there's some great teams in there. And, you know, we have so many rival games. It's, it's pretty crazy. You know, we have the the game with Southwestern, which is the Paul Sharp uh, traveling trophy, the game with Harding that is a, a traveling trophy. Uh, we've got the Southern Arkansas game now, the Murphy, Murphy USA Classic. Naturally, the Battle of the Ravine, and then you take the opener where you've got Oklahoma Baptist, Washita Baptist. I mean, you just you just go through that schedule uh, week after week, and they're they're basically rival games for us, and we have to be at our best every week, and it's tough, you know. And I talk to the players all the time, and and really they do a great job coaching us. Our players is just taking them one game at a time. So you're really asking me a question that goes against our philosophy to talk about the season for sure. But but man, it's. It's a great schedule. We're excited about the two Thursday night games because you have a chance to go through camp. You open on Thursday night. You get your, your team off their legs for a couple of days. Then you go through about seven weeks, and you get another Thursday night game. You get off your legs for a couple of days. So from a physical and mental standpoint, it's probably as good a schedule as we've had in two or three years. So we're excited about that part of it. We do have five games at home and six on the road, but you got to remember – one of those road games is across the street. So it's really like six games in Arkadelphia and five on the road. So, you know, we're excited about the schedule. We think it we think it's a really good schedule for our particular football team and our staff. And, you know, you mentioned the the success while ago and and I can tell you this, it, it goes back to good players and it goes back to coaches and retention and and uh, we we've been very fortunate to have both of those things and and uh, I'm I'm a very small part of it and thankful for our staff, thankful for our team and we look. We really like this team that's coming up this year, and look forward to our our chances and going through a season with these guys. 
Well, Coach, I appreciate the humility, but uh, having uh, been a part of the program now well into your third decade there, I know that uh, d- that you play a, a major role as well. So uh, congratulations for the success you've had, but success to the Tigers this season as they look to play well and, and continue that uh, that streak of winning seasons here in 2022. Coach Todd Knight with the Washita Tigers, thank you so much uh, for being with us today here as we preview the college football season. You bet. Well, I appreciate getting to be on and talk about uh, our football team and, you know, really the greatest game ever played, college football. And uh, there's nothing like it. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to coach it and play it. And and it's a it's a great way to to build man skills as well. And and we love the game. So thank you so much, Joy, for having us and letting us have a chance to talk about our football team.